How are things going over there? Are they — are you looking up? Uh, how is it looking to you? You've seen it. You've been there a while, and you've seen what's going on. You know what's happening better than anybody. How do you find things going? Taliban and ISIS are resilient uh, adversaries, but I think that we're doing well. Um, we get after them every single day. Our objective here uh, is to fight the away game. And so uh, what I mean by that uh, is we never want this adversary to reach our shores again. Uh, and so every airman here is dedicated to keeping this fight uh, away from our shores. A stable Afghanistan is good for Afghanistan, but we do what we do for America, sir. Well, you said it better than anybody could have said, keep them away from our shores, and that's why we're doing the strong borders. You probably see over the news what's happening in our southern border and our southern border territory. Uh, large numbers of people, and in many cases, we have no idea who they are, and in many cases, they're not good people. They're bad people. But large numbers of people are forming at our border, and I don't have to even ask you. I know what you want to do. You want to make sure that you know who we're letting in. And we're not letting in anybody, essentially, because uh, we want to be very, very careful. So you're right. You're doing it over there. We're doing it over here. And your people at the border, we have the military at the border for the first time. I don't know if it's ever or certainly there's never been a presence like this, but we have a very powerful border now. We have the Cosentino fencing, and we have things that people don't even believe. We took old, broken wall, and we wrapped it with barbed wire plus. I guess you could really call it barbed wire plus. This is the ultimate. And, and nobody's getting through these walls, and we're going to make sure they're the right people, because that's what you and your family want, and uh, all of your families, that's what they want. And that's why we're all fighting. You know, we're fighting for borders. We're fighting for our country. If we don't have borders, we don't have a country. So we're doing very well on the southern border. We're very tough. We get a lot of bad court decisions from the Ninth Circuit, which has become a, a big thorn in our side. We always lose, and then you lose again and again, and then you hopefully win at the Supreme Court, which we've done. But uh, it's a terrible thing when judges take over your protective services, when they tell you how to protect your border. It's a disgrace. So uh, we're winning, and you're winning, and I appreciate it very much. And, General, uh, your reputation is an incredible one. Thank you very much for doing the job, and I'll see you back when you're in the United States. Or maybe I'll even see you over there. You never know what's going to happen.